one of the most important topic from the numerical perspective is the freezing time or the refrigeration time. So coming to the freezing time, uh, the formula is based on the Planck's equation, which is Tf is equals to rho L upon Tf minus Ta multiplied by P into A by H plus R square in uh, R into A square by K. Now this rho is the density of the food item that is being freezed. L is the latent heat of freezing for that particular food. Now, this latent heat is basically for the water that we are talking about. Now, for example, if the food item has 20% of water, let's just say 50% of water, then in that case, latent heat of that particular would be 0.5 multiplied by latent heat of water, which is 333.2. It's a well-known fact. So all you, we need to do is multiply with the moisture content of the food material. So we have rho into latent heat of that food divided by Tf, which is the freezing time for that particular food minus Ta. T is the ambient temperature. Like for example, if we have put the food item in the uh, freezer, which is at minus 10 degrees Celsius. So the value of Ta would be minus 10 degrees Celsius. Now, P into A. P is a constant. R is a constant again. Just key values depends on the geometry. Now, A is the Characteristic length, it may be the thickness of the slab or the diameter for a rate for a sphere or a cylinder. Plus H is the thermal conductive uh, heat transfer coefficient, convective heat transfer coefficient precisely. And this K is the thermal conductivity. Now the values of P and R depends on the geometry as we said before. But for a slab, it is 1 by 2. And for any value of P, R is equal to P by 4. That means if the slab ki value is 1 by 2, value of R would be 1 by 8. For a cylinder, value of P is 1 by 4, then it will be 1 by 16 for R. And same is the case for sphere, where the value of P is 1 by 6, and the value of R is 1 by 24. Now, let's just discuss a question that is based on this formula. So, uh, before that, this Planck's equation that we just discussed was an equation that is denoting the freezing time for any food. Like for example, we have the ambient temperature as theta T, theta A for the uh, freezer and you have placed the item over here at this point, which is the temperature is let's say theta I. We have put it into the freezer, the temperature will start decreasing and it will ultimately reach the freezing point, the temperature at will it become frozen at this theta f. Now before that it undergoes sub super cooling at this point b and then finally it reaches theta f where it has the freezing temperature has been achieved. Then again the temperature will start decreasing till it reaches theta a. The, the time that is required to uh, lower the temperature from the freezing temperature to the ambient temperature is called the freezing time, which is denoted by this Planck's equation. Now, the question that is most most of the times questions that are asked related to this are based on this formula itself. Direct questions are being asked. So let's just try to solve this question that is based on this formula. So the question uh, is a gate question. It came in gate 20. 17 or 2018. And uh, the question suggests that uh, freezing of a 100 mm spherical meat ball, uh, we have to find out the time for it, which is the moisture content is given as 60%. And at a, uh, it is initially at 35 degrees Celsius. Okay? It is uh, put into the air blast freezer, where it, which is maintained at minus 45 degrees Celsius, given that the latent heat of fusion for water is 333.2 kilojoules per kg. Thermal conductivity of the meat is 1.5 uh, watt per meter per degree Celsius and the convective heat transfer is also given which is 40 watt per meter square per degree Celsius and the density of the frozen meat is given and the initial freezing temperature of the meat ball is also given. Now the formula says Tf is equals to rho into L divided by Tf minus Ta P A upon H plus R A square by K, right? Now this row is super clear. It is 980. 
directly value will put it over here. L is the latent heat of fusion, uh, latent heat of freezing for the food item. Now this food item has 60% of moisture. So it will be 0.6 multiplied by the latent heat of fusion for water. That is 333.2. Uh, it is in kilojoules. We have to put every thinning SI unit. So into 10 to the power 3 divided by TF. That is the freezing time of the product. So the freezing time of the product is minus 10 degrees Celsius as it is given over here. So we'll put minus 10 minus the ambient temperature. That is the minus 45 degrees Celsius. And we have to multiply it by P. Because it is a sphere, the value of P would be 1 by 6. It has to be multiplied by A, which is 100 mm, but we have to put everything in SI unit. So 100 divided by 1000 divided by H, the value of H is 40, plus 1 by 24, which is the value of R, into A square, that is 1 by 10. I'm writing it directly over here, divided by uh, value of K is 1.5. So we just have to solve it to get the answer. On solving, we'll be getting 3887.33 seconds because on putting the values in SI unit, we will get the value, uh, the final value in SI unit only. So the temp time case SI unit is seconds. So you're getting it in seconds. We have to convert it into hours because the question is asking in hours. So in hours, it will be, we have to divide the uh, value by 3600. So we'll be getting 1.08 hours. So the freezing time required by this meat ball is 1.08 hours. So this is how we'll be solving all of these questions.